Oh boy. I'm uh, I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> Welcome back to to the witness randomizer. Yeah, uh I wanted to get another witness randomizer stream in like this week. I don't skip an entire week, but man, my brain is feeling like slime. So this is probably going to be a train wreck, but we'll see. Maybe I'll get into it a little bit. And we left off right here, and I think I was just wanting to like see if I could yeah, like completely replicate the path, which I guess I have done on this one, just accidentally, like that turned out to be the solution. And then we do enter it from there. I kind of want to see if I can do that. So honestly, I'm just going to take a screenshot here and then get paint up and I can just like do a comparison and that'll be much easier. So let's put that over here and we'll just try and do this just to see like, is that a valid solution if you do the uh, wow. This is very slow. I guess I did lower it, yeah. I'm not like used to the sensitivity being that slow on the uh, the panels. All right, so then we go over, nope. Oh my God, it's still too high apparently. We go over here, then up to, then in here for some reason. Don't exactly know why I do that, but does this still work? Yeah, yeah, that does work. Yeah, that's okay. And then here, we start from here, and then two down. We do this thing for, for no reason in this case, but that's okay. And then just down. Yeah, I mean, it seems like this is going to work. And then from here, all the way over, and then just in there. Oh, yeah, right, we can end it there too. We don't have to end it over here. So that's also a valid solution. Yeah, there you go. That's kind of cool. All right. I'm not sure that's really like a shortcut to that puzzle more so than uh, or what would you say it's not it's not so much a shortcut as it is just kind of a, a fun fact about it. I don't know. Maybe some people just solved it by looking down and doing that in the randomizer that is not in the normal levels. But yeah, OK. We also had like one or two more puzzles left over in the swamp, I'm pretty sure, that I left. So, time to go back there. This is still not open, goddammit. Yeah, I didn't- I, I think I was like stuck on a puzzle in the swamp and I was planning on looking at it uh, off camera, but I didn't do that. So, yeah, we'll see how this is gonna go. Do I have to take this path, or...? Uh... I mean, it might be faster. It's like right there, otherwise I have to run all the way around. Yeah, I guess so. Right, they did mention that these have been like sped up and stuff. Cause yeah, that was definitely much faster than in the base game. Oh, we're not even done here. There's one more basement. So it's this one I'm doing, or was it this one? I, I think I did this one. I I'm just I can't remember. I should have like control checked something. But let's go to uh purple and blue, I suppose. So this way. Hold on. Oh god, I'm so like paranoid because I can't have OBS up when playing this game or it keeps lagging, but then I don't know if I'm muted or not. And I have to keep muting because I'm drinking tea. Yeah, we were done with that. So that's cool. Uh... What else? Did I do everything here? I think I had one more left here. No, I'm done with that. Wait, so... Oh, yeah, I, I went past it. It's th not this one, it's the one all the way over there. That's where we left off. Okay.
Wish I had like a little on-screen indicator if I'm muted or not. See, so, yeah, I keep having to like check back just to con confirm. Maybe I should just keep it open and see if it like starts dropping a lot. Most of the time we're just going to be looking at panels anyway, so it's not like it matters. But like maybe when I walk here it might drop ever so slightly. It's not even that bad. Yeah, so this one, right? Yeah, okay, we have three more here. All right, so let's just get back into it, and I guess we should just paint right away. I think that was kind of what was working well. Just paint until you can't paint anymore. Hold on, let's bring this up. Still works right, yeah. And then we need our colors, I guess I'll do blue for this one, and then yellow for the uh, Tetris pieces. Make sure I don't, like, cut off the stream. Oh, that's too big. Yeah, I can't make the the brush smaller. Ah, it's not the right, right blue. Yeah, that's closer. <laughs> okay, so we need to remove this area. I don't think I really, like, Oh no, I did try this one a little bit, and we, we kind of reached the conclusion that this one almost has to be here, as far as I can tell. Like, there's... I'm not sure there's any way for it not to be there. Maybe, maybe if we put... No, yeah, right, yeah, because this was the thing where I was thinking, oh, maybe we have, like, the uh, this one over here, and the, the four one right there, and this one like that, but then this one doesn't get reached. So, in order to reach both of these, if if they are in one group, that is, we have to have this one and this one, like, up here. So, like, this kind of thing, or vice versa, I think. Something like that. And then, of course, all of this. So... Hmm. So, yeah, let, let's put this one here again. It's almost too big. I should just keep it at this size, I think, so it's Easier to see. So that's fine. And then we need to delete a three section. And I think I was thinking something weird where like we have the deletion going here so that it deletes this tile, but then we have this tile also lying here. So we have the two piece there. And then this tile will be removed. Yeah, and then we would have the oh the four piece here, but that doesn't work because then we would actually remove this tile and then it's only these two in one group and this one. And then we're not even like including this one either. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's a problem. So if we combine these three, we could, like, delete everything except just a 1x4, but how do I do that? Yeah, this one is weird. And we have five tiles here, and then four and two. So 11 tiles total on a 16 tile board, but then we need to delete three down to eight. So we're covering half the board. I don't know if that's useful. Hmm. Yeah, this is already worrying. Okay, let's say we just overlap these. Maybe this one is like on its own somehow. So we overlap this one here, and then this one also here. 
And then this goes like and deletes these three. So we still have one here. Oh no, then we have two there. That doesn't work. Okay, so if we have this piece lying here instead, and then that. Now we lay this one here, and it deletes this once, and this, and this. And this is still here, this is now gone. We have this left, and we need to cover this one, but that's, that's not possible. How do you do this? How do you reach everything? And then we still haven't reached this one again. Yeah, I, I have no idea. I don't understand this one at all. No, this might be a little too uh, intense right now. This one is good. Huh. Because just looking at the other ones, like, yeah, they, they work normally. We have to keep this one included as well, somehow. I really should have looked at this off camera, but I just haven't really been feeling it. Honestly, I don't even know, like, how it's possible to get all four of these in one shape. So maybe you don't do that, maybe you don't put them in one shape, but I don't see how it's possible to not have them in the same shape either. Like, this thing has to be with something, but how and where? Honestly, I might have to just, like, leave this one and come back. I really should have looked at this, but I don't know. Just staring at this is not really getting me anywhere, I feel. Like, I, I just don't see how anything can be here at all, period. Like, reaching all four of these in some way doesn't seem like it's a thing. Like, I feel like this is kind of close. But I still need one more tile to connect them up, right? Like, even if I now have this here, oh, there, and the path would be like... Uh, well, I couldn't even do that. I would have to go up here and do something like... Yeah, no, this, this just doesn't work, period. But like, even even if this would work, and I delete these ones, that still means that we have to cover these five, this one on its own, and then two here. Which means I'm not covering, like, I can't cover this one. Because I can't just, like, cut this one off like that, then it doesn't get... it doesn't work. Okay, wait, what about below instead? I 
if we put like this here and then this cuts off like here instead then oh wait wait is that it and then this is on its own because then no but no i can't no that doesn't work because then it's these two alone it would just be I would go like this way, and then in here, and that doesn't work. That's not how these work. I don't think it's how these work. Let me try it in the game. I'm not even going to switch over because I'm pretty sure this is wrong. Like, that's not how they work. Nope, that's not how they work. Hmm. Okay, what if we do something crazy where we don't have this one here? Instead, we do have it going here, and then this part would get cut off. So we would have this one here, but then this is still not included. So I don't think this is going to work. And this here, we would cut off, like, I guess, these ones or something. And then get this kind of shape. I don't know why I'm painting it yellow, but yeah, I, I guess I would do do it this way. No, yeah, this wouldn't even work. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, I would just go in here instead. Like that kind of thing. But again, then I'm not including this one. So how how is it possible? Maybe? No, yeah, we can't, like, even theoretically place this one here and have it deleted, because that, that doesn't work. We confirmed that earlier. And I don't see why this one would just be, like, here. That doesn't make any sense, even for, like, deletion. Because, yeah, then we can't have this here or here. So that, that can't be right. So yeah, really, this one has two options. It has to be here, or it has to be there. Those are the only two options for it, as far as I can tell. So let's play around more with this one. If I'm, like, missing something. It's just, yeah, it's just this one. I just can't reach that tile. Wrong window. Yeah, I don't think it can be here, period. Like, I feel like there's something weird going on here, where it's, it's not what you would think. It's like some crazy thing where like it uses the negative space of the puzzle or something crazy. I don't know. I have no idea how to even begin thinking about that. This one just feels like such a massive step up in difficulty compared to the uh, previous ones. Or I'm just not seeing something, but I genuinely have no idea how this puzzle is even possible. Maybe I should use that solver. That would be kind of a cop-out, but, like, I don't feel like I'll ever beat this one, but maybe I should just come back to it again. I mean, it's been a full week and I still can't solve it.
And if we do something where... Hmm. Where we have this here. And then this would start deleting, like, these three. So we would have to place something here. Yeah, then that's not possible, because, like, we would have to place this here. But then this tile would have to have this tile on it. And... I mean, I guess it would, in that case, be here. Wait, yeah, but, but then we're not covering this one. That's the problem. Yeah, that doesn't work either. So now this one would be here, these would cancel out. So we would have these three and these four, and then it's two separate gaps and that doesn't work either. So, I don't know. I don't even have anyone in chat right now that can just, like, spoil the puzzle, because honestly, I could use some hints right about now, I feel. I just don't know. Oh, we do have someone in chat. <laughs> You assume it uses some subtlety of how blue... What? Blue ominos work in real game? You don't know how it handles them, so you would have to experiment? Ah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know either. Like, I thought I understood these, but... Apparently not. Because the thing is, I have to, like... Even... even... Excluding that this is a blue one, we have to somehow reach all four of these. Even if it's not in the same area, they all have to be encompassed, and I don't feel like that's even possible on this board. So, I, I don't know. I'm assuming the randomizer doesn't, like, generate puzzles that can't be solved. It's probably been ironed out. Yeah, like, the only thing I know about the blue ones is that, like, yeah, they need to be included in the area. Like, here, this has to be included in the area, and it removes this tile in this case. In theory, there aren't many shapes you can make which touch every symbol and have the right number of cells. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Like, are there any? Because I can't think of any shapes that have the right number of everything. Like... How do you touch all all four of these in any way? It's like we would have to have this one here. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how that's... It would be like... I guess, okay, in this case, if we just ignore the blue one entirely, we would have this one here, and then this one here. But then we still need to delete three tiles. And I can't do that. And if we do the uh, opposite, where I have this one here and the four here, then sure, now we can delete these three tiles, but then we are left with, like, an unsolvable thing, because now this is, like, on its own and would have to be cut off like that, and that's not possible. So I, I think I'm going to switch over to white, just because it's easier to see. So, like, that's the closest I can think of, just this kind of thing. But what do we do with that? Or maybe... Maybe, like... No... Like, if this one is here, then... And this on its own... Then we still have to cut off three, which means we have to cut the link between these, and that doesn't work. Yeah, I don't know. At least I'm glad I'm not the only one that's stummed. S stummed? Stumped. There's no set of eight cells which touch all four symbols and still has two or more cells at the bottom row. So the solution can't have two or more cells at the bottom. Yeah. That seems right. And like I, I said before, this shape, I'm pretty sure, has to be here or here. Those are the only two options, because it obviously can't be here. Even if we were to remove this one, it doesn't... We confirm that with a different puzzle, that if you can't do that and then, like, delete it with a blue tile. It doesn't work that way. It has to have been on the board. And if we place it here, then we can't fit in this tile and this tile, even with removing stuff to cover the other uh, spaces. 
So this L has to be here or here. But I've tried to think about both variants, because yeah, I don't feel like it can be here, because now we can't cover this one. Unless we add, like... Yeah, the only way we could have it here is by overlapping another tile, like having uh, this here, and then this one here, and then this would delete these three tiles, so this one would still be here. But then we don't cover this tile, so that doesn't work anyway. And if we have, like... No, yeah, the, the square here wouldn't work either. You can't have two vertical ones. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like this is right, but can't think of what else would be right. Yeah, this one is just weird. I honestly am kind of tempted to just try that that solver and just like see if I even understand why the solution is the right solution. You might have an answer. You can't easily test it. I'm not sure if it's based on correct understanding or not. Shoot, please tell me. I'm I'm fine with this for now. Like if we're solving it together, that's fine by me. Not well, if you solve it for me, I guess that's not we're solving it together. Totally. But yeah, like, let's hear whatever theory you have, I can test it. Because yeah, it does definitely feel like there's some, some aspect to this that I'm just misunderstanding or something. That I, like, don't understand a mechanic involved because it, it can't be as simple as I as I think these tiles work or whatever so two regions one with the L the box and the blue the other with a two dot alone so like the two dot would just be here because yeah I did test a couple of those but then we would have to have the L here uh, and the box uh, like overlapping here I guess oh is that what you mean Oh, yeah, is that what you mean? Wait, but I thought the main game confirmed that that couldn't work. Like, you were, you were thinking this, right? So then the 3-1 deletes this, like, twice? Or, no, I guess, yeah. It would delete this once, then this once, then this once. I think this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I, did I test this? I don't even know. But yeah, I think this is right. So now these are gone. So we actually get uh, just this tile. Wait, how would it be? Let me draw it out again. We get these tiles and this tile. Yeah. So we get this kind of configuration. Yep, I think that's it. Good lord. Well, thanks for that. I think you solved it. Switch over. Yeah, that was that was kind of a one hell of a puzzle. Wait, can you see this? Yep. Good god. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit much for me, I think. And this is normal mode. Hopefully it's uh, not uphill from here. Let's just go over to paint again. Might as well. Alright. Oh, that's kind of in the way, but whatever. Okay, well, let's just start with, like, the obvious. Just have this tile here, like so. And then two could be just removed wherever, so that's fine. We could place this one here. This one seems very easy. What the hell? This one is, like, super easy. Then we just place this one here, or whatever. 
And then we could just delete that and delete this or something. And we just do this kind of thing. That's totally fine. What the hell? Yeah, that was like... The previous one was like an 8 out of 10 in difficulty. This is like a 2 out of 10. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I keep being paranoid if you can even like see it or not. You can. There we go. Yep. And we have a lot of tiles. You get that with randomness? Yeah. Some puzzles are just like, there's no straight progression, like with the main game or like, oh, the next panel has to be more com complex and like add in another mechanic. Not necessarily. All right. So what do we have here? We have seven tiles there and six tiles here. That's a lot of tiles. Oh my god. I, I want to say, just based on intuition, that this one is going to be a weird, like, remove overlapping tiles so that they're still there or something. But I mean, like, this this only has two spaces it can be on. Both, both of these do. So, like, I guess we can just test whatever, really. So, like, let's test having this one. Uh, hold on. Like, up here. And then this one. And this one, just so I know it's that shape. And then this one would, in that case, be here on the left, I guess. So, like, this kind of thing. And then it's not covered. Yeah, then it would go there. So that's already just out the window. Can't be that configuration. So I guess let's flip them around instead. Let's have this one uh, here. And this one. And then this one would go here. Yeah, this this already just, just seems right. And then we just need to delete two of them. So one here, one here, and then this, like so. And we just need to, yeah, we just need to like delete this tile and this tile once, and then we're fine. So we would have... Uh, how do we get to the end then? Oh, the end is there, okay. So I think we then go here. Yeah, in there. And then skip past this one. That should be right. Yeah, this one wasn't too bad. I forgot. I think it was this way. Yeah, there we go. This one, by far the hardest one. But maybe that's just me. Sometimes you just like can't see a solution, even if it's not actually complicated, but I feel like that one was kind of complicated, relatively speaking. But at least we've made some progress now. Thanks for the help. We got our crocodile friend. Alright, these ones don't seem like I would need paint for, so let's just like... Ah, uh, maybe I do, because I still need to like keep them all in one area. So we'll see. Oh no, yeah, this is fine. We just do this. Wait, no? Huh? What? Why is that not right? Hello? This. Why would that not be right? Oh, because it goes off the, the screen again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already established that. Like, this, this one goes down here and then would get removed, but that doesn't work. Okay, so never mind. So this one has to, like, go here or something. And then I guess just have this removed. There we go. Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. We could keep these completely on their own. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do. This one was simple. Just, like, these all cancel out, and then we just get a 2x3. Two by, two by Man, feels good to, like, actually solve puzzles now and not feel like an idiot. <laughs> I say, as I probably get stuck in one of these. Okay, so we're deleting five tiles. We could delete these two shapes entirely, but then we would have to have this one on its own, and that's not possible. We could have, like, these together.
Yeah, I think... No. Hmm. This one I might want to paint. Just to, like, test out some spots. Yeah, I don't think this one will work on the same principle of just, like, deleting an entire piece just to not think about it. Yeah, let's let's go over to paint. Cause yeah, I was for a second I was thinking like these would cancel out, and then we would have this and this, like here and here, and then we would delete one, but then we don't reach it, so that's not a thing. Hmm. Maybe we do some, like, crazy overlap stuff here. Where, like, this actually goes here, but then the four is also here. And then these two will cancel out those two. But then I don't think we can fit this one in as well, because we would have to delete one of these two tiles or one of the blue tiles, so... Maybe not exactly that, but it could be something similar. We could do a thing where we like, let's say we have this one here, uh, this one here, and then we in essence have this tile here but it gets deleted by this and this, and two of these, while this one also gets deleted here. So we actually get... Oh, Jesus. Just get this, but then we would have to reach this with these two, and that's not a thing. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like just deleting tiles is not really what we're doing. No, 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 wait, maybe it is. We delete this one by these two, and then we have this area for these three tiles. That might work. So we place this one here, this one here, and then it gets deleted. Oh, but then it deletes itself. Yeah, that doesn't work. Ah, that's, that's close, though, because, like, this would delete these two, so these two tiles would still be here, but this one would be gone, so it's not included. So, like, we would have this kind of shape, and then this doesn't work. Yeah, I feel like that's on the right track, maybe. Let's place this one here, just to think about that, like what that would do. And then we place like this one here, delete all three of those, so we still get one here and these are just gone. But then we can't mark these two, so no. And if we just have the square like that, Oh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I was on the right track, just don't overlap them. Just this one here, because then it just gets deleted here and we're left with these five tiles and that's totally fine. And then these cancel out. So we just go this way, uh, wait, uh, we go this way. That should actually work. Like same path I had, but just wrong reasoning. There we go. Cool. That's the kind of difficulty I enjoy. Like, you have to think about it, but not staring at it for an hour. <laughs> yeah, let's just take this to paint right away. When I just see too many Tetris pieces, I feel like, yeah, might as well. It's like too much to think about. So we could delete stuff. We could have only a single... Uh, yeah, we could have a single cube here for this one, but then we 
would uh, wall off this one and then the rest doesn't work. But like we can delete this entire thing. And we could delete more. Hmm. I feel like this is bait. That you, you look at this and you're like, oh, we obviously delete these three and then we delete one more. So this is just gone. I feel like that's not the right way to think about this one. But I'm not entirely sure. Like, if we just have this line like that. Yeah. Yeah, this is a problem. So now, and then we have this one here. This square deletes this one once, and that's totally fine. So, like, this area is now solved, but then we have two more that would need to be deleted, and we can't do that. So that doesn't quite work. Yeah, so I don't think we delete this tile entirely. Maybe I should just try and, like, combine them into one shape. So let's say we have this one uh, just here. And then we would have, like... Uh... Yeah, no, maybe not. Hmm. I'm also thinking, like, we can delete this entire shape using these three blue tiles, and then this with this one, but this tile can't finish itself. It's not possible for this tile to, uh, like, be its own Tetris shape. And if we, like, put this one here, and then the T, like, here. We would have to delete two tiles, and then this doesn't work anymore. I mean, I think this is the only tile that can be here, right? Isn't that a guarantee? Or am I, like, misunderstanding something? Because, like, this one can't include itself, and this one can't include that either. So we have to place this one here, I I want to say? What if we then place this tile here? And this one down here? Then we're not reaching enough of the deletion squares. And if we place it here... Hmm... Yeah, this one just almost feels like you don't have enough tiles. We need to do all of this with only four tiles. How is that possible? Like, I, I guess we just have to delete a lot of stuff. Maybe you do delete this one, because yeah, like, if we have to place this here, then we're already using up two tiles and it doesn't seem like we can delete the rest. Maybe we can. Now, maybe, maybe that is it. Because again, we can use these three, like this entire row cancels out itself. If we can solve these two, then it could work. But again, we would have like 
uh, this kind of thing. And then we would have to delete these two, for example. And then we're left with a shape that we can't make. Just like this kind of thing. You worked it out. All right, that's good. I can get some uh, hints later for now. Hold off, I guess. But yeah, I'll, I might need need one for this one. Hmm. Okay, if we just like for a second assume that these are just like on their own to be cut off, can we solve this this area in some way? That would just be a, a cube here, but then we leave these out, and that's not possible. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, this T just feels really weird, because it doesn't seem like we can put it anywhere, but we also can't delete it at all. Because if I try and delete it, I don't have enough to solve the other two. And if I try and put it anywhere... I don't know. I guess we could do a thing where, like, we have these two delete the T and then one more tile somewhere. But does that work? Then it would have to be in the same area, and that doesn't seem possible. Yeah, it might, might be time for a bit of a vague hint if you have any. I gotta say, I am liking the randomizer, but the like, the, the randomize, the, the randomness of itself is kind of the problem for me, where it just fluctuates so hard between like things that melt your brain and things that are like super dumb easy. It just feels a little like jarring in a way, where you just stop and start all the time. Think about the blocks where they would be after deletion. I'm not sure that helps me in any way, because what blocks should be deleted? I mean, yeah, that's that's what I've been trying to do, but I don't know what to do with that. Like I've been trying to think of which ones can be deleted in which way. But we still need to like include them. Unless they're completely, completely deleted.
Has your brain achieved full melt yet? It's like 80% melt, I would say. And honestly, maybe I should have, like, taken a week off from Witness Randomizer, because I was feeling like this is not gonna end well, and yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, like, not in the zone, I feel. Like, I'm... I'm getting too impatient and wanting to solve them without, like, thinking too hard. <laughs> Yeah, I just keep running into like mental dead ends where I, I just don't see how to think at all. You have a net four blocks to work with. You find a floor four block subset area that works alone. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to do, but I don't feel like I can, but maybe I can. I, I don't think so. We could do something with like these two canceling out in the center and just like having this ring to work with. If, you, if I can do anything with deleting the rest of the tiles here. But no, there's not enough to delete stuff here, I don't think. So we would have to have four tiles somehow. Yeah, if there's a ring, then it would get cut off in some way and not delete stuff. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like any four area. I've been close in my thinking. Oh god. I don't feel like any just two by two area at any place in the grid works just in and of itself. Well, except this one, like I said, but yeah, this area works as a as a two by two, but then that causes problems outside. Wait, oh my God, it is it is this, right? Because what we do is we delete these, delete themselves, and then we have, we're left with an L here. So we just do an L. This, and then everything else is solved. There we go. Okay, those were good hints. Everyone was doing like vague hints that didn't give anything away. But yeah, I think that works. If we just do an L, that's it. Because then this is deleted by this, and this is deleted by that, and this area is solved. Holy crap, okay, yep. That one was a, a rough one to try and process. Very simple solution though, like elegant solution at the end. And I guess that's it then, like we don't need to do this area right. None of this is randomized, I think. But I mean, I guess we still want to go get the, uh, the laser. Uh, can't remember how to even do this stuff. Wait, no, this this doesn't help. Oh, no, it does. Yeah, we do this and then you know, I vaguely remember this stuff, that, and then one more. There we go. I even removed the, like, no backseating tag because I feel like I'm gonna need it. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna need some help and hints. Uh, so we just do, like, whatever here, just to go up. Doesn't matter. Oh, wait, there was a shortcut out here. Yeah, you can just leave that way. I forgot. I have to do it again. Oh. Especially with brain melting. Yeah, I'll just blame brain melting. Blame everything on brain melting. Hello, Malachite. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh right, these ones, are they randomized? I guess they're randomized. They seem very easy though. Okay. Whoa. Alright, this one is a bit different. The full grid? Wait, <laughs> what? This is just a Tetris puzzle, isn't it? Like, this is literally just a Tetris puzzle. This is the yellow pieces, these are the yellow pieces, and this one is irrelevant. It's kind of weird. Or is that... Does it actually make a difference when you do that? I don't think so. So we just do... Oh god, wait. Uh... Uh, no? It's not that? I think I was close. Hold on. Oh, wait, yeah. This goes over there, and then that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I just did it wrong. No? What? Wait, huh? What am I misunderstanding here? It covers the entire grid... It's the opposite of a Tetris puzzle, yeah. But like... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is the opposite. So I would delete... Right, 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 right. The solution is the, the opposite solution. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I definitely need this one in paint. Yeah, I see what I'm supposed to do. I was thinking about it wrong. Like, to do the solution I was doing, where I delete this and delete that, then that would leave the other tiles. We would have these tiles and these tiles. And, like, can I just solve it like that? Does that work? Just this kind of thing? Because I, I guess, I guess so, yeah? That should work, right? No? Still doesn't. Okay, I'm still not understanding something. Wait, top left corner? What did I do about that? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Top left corner. Yep. Just missing that. Or you couldn't even see I was looking at paint. Yeah. Oh. Wait. Now what? What am I doing now? How many pieces are you removing? Hold on, back to paint. Uh, in this case, we would have them like that. And we're removing nine pieces total. Oh, right. Yeah, this doesn't work because now I'm removing the piece that has the Tetris puzzle, right? Or like, it's not included. Like, the solution has to include this, I guess. So I guess we just rotate them instead. Like, let's just say... We instead place this one... Like, we... Let's remove these tiles or something. And then, like, remove these tiles, maybe? Can I do that? No. No, no, no. Can't do that. Maybe this one over here, and then this one here. So those are the ones we're removing, so we're including... Oh, but then, no, then we cut this out, right? And that doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't work either. Okay, well, I think I'm getting a little closer. So maybe it is just... Here and here instead. Does that work? This kind of thing? Let's try that. There we go. All right. Yeah, that was an interesting one. Like, at first I thought it was just like, isn't this exactly the same as a normal Tetris puzzle? But no, it does actually function a little differently. Kind of wish there were more of those. Maybe we will get more, like, under the mountain or something. But yeah, so there we go. 
now we're finally done with the swamp, and, uh, yeah, it's like opposite Tetris. I guess we should just go to the Spike Forest next? Because that's the, uh, Spike Forest is the only area I have left, right? Like, in terms of the randomized, well, Spike, uh, Spike Forest and the town. You want to get the laser? Yeah, yeah, I did. But yeah, Spike Forest and then Town, I think, are the only two surface randomized areas left, right? Yeah, I like how last time we did most of the keep and all almost all of the swamp and then this time it's like already an hour and I've done like two puzzle sections in the swamp and that's it. Good god. Treehouse area. That treehouse is your favorite area on both randomizers. I do like the treehouse area. I mean, that sounds promising because I was kind of dreading this a little bit thinking like this one might be very difficult, but I feel like I have a decent grasp of suns if they are still like using suns or spike balls here we'll see maybe it has some other mechanic going for it repeated epiphany of the star rule it's your fa favorite panel related part of the game wait in randomizer or you mean just like that you learn, you understand, like, mechanic after mechanic, you think you understand it, ah, that's how it works, and then you solve the puzzle, and then the next one is like, oh, that was not how it worked, but it's still applied, and you, like, keep updating your your mind's rule set, or whatever, for, uh, stars. Yeah, so far these don't seem too bad. Now we might have a bit of an issue. Hmm. There we go. And that's not a problem. Oh, can't go up there. It's a little hard to see. Yeah, these have to be together. There's no way to cut them off. Turn on your star brain. We are ascending from melt brain to star brain. I think we just do this kind of thing. Wait, al almost? Not quite. There we go. Oh my god, I hate this glare, honestly. <laughs> it's so annoying to look at these panels. And then I think we do, like, this kind of thing. Yeah. Man, I'm knocking these out. Holy crap. Oh, this one was very simple. There we go. Yeah, first one done. Don't do that, star brain. Would just make your brain melt faster. Oh, too late. It's melting. We're at 120% meltage right now. Oh, shit. Almost. I think I might be able to, like just tweak what I have here, but how? Mm. 
No. Hmm, yeah, I can't really do that. This is a problem already. That doesn't work either. Yeah, this is kind of close. We just have one more pair to separate somehow. Yeah, this area is the tricky bit here. This one is clever. Good luck. Oh boy. Yeah, just this whole section. Wait, don't I have it here? If I just do this, and then that, and then this? There we go. Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, where do we go first? Maybe to unlock the short shortcut or something? Yeah, sure. Let's do this one. Wait, which one is, like, the next one canonically or whatever, in, in terms of, like, difficulty. I guess they would just expect you to, like, turn left here, because this one is right here, maybe. And up here is nothing right now, right? Yeah, just the timer. This song is very good, from Think. Love when the randomizer accidentally produces well-designed puzzles. Yeah, exactly. It's great when it's like, this feels like someone designed it. Like, this was a proper puzzle instead of just, you know, a randomizer puzzle. Oh, yeah, that was an easy one. Yeah, let's just go this way. Yeah, no problem. That's a problem. Ah, yeah, I see. Maybe this way instead. Yep, there we go. This one looks kind of interesting, just like all the dots are not where the stars are for the most part. Doesn't seem that hard though. Yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, these have to be together, that makes sense. But we might not want to start with them. Yeah, like this kind of thing works. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad. I can see why this is your favorite area for the randomizer. So far I'm liking all these puzzles and like the way you have to think about them. But we'll see, it'll probably get harder.
Right, how did this work again? This is like the same as in the main game, but I for forgot how you like have to deal with these. Just that? Yeah, there we go. And there we go. Yeah, just split it down the middle pretty much. Yeah. These feel very vanilla, these ones. Like, weren't they pretty much this kind of thing? And then now these can't be together, right? Yeah. Well, I guess... Hold on, I, I need to confirm that. Well, I guess I can't really confirm that. If I do this... It doesn't say that they don't like it. Yeah, so, okay. I, I always get confused by that, by, like, the spike ball mechanics that... They don't care about dots at all. So that does work. Most of them were 3x3 three three in vanilla? Oh, I see. So we just can't have... the uh, pink and black dots together. So we have to, like... Hmm. Wait, can we not have pink and black? Yeah, we can't have pink and black. So we do, like, this kind of thing. Wait, but no, then there's still... Hold on. One more. No, but this also doesn't work. So, no. Cut it off entirely, I wanted to say. Hmm. It's something like this, where we have to have this one cut off on its own. And the T over here cut off as well. I think. I guess we could have this instead. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was a fun one, because it's like kind of a red herring situation where you think you have to place the uh, black and white together, but it's actually the pink and white, or magenta. There we go, okay, that wasn't bad. Oh, wow, that was very easy. Ah, I've been foiled. Same strat doesn't work again. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, okay. Same strat kind of did work, I just had to go from the uh, opposite side. That, yeah. And then when this no? Oh right, yeah, yeah, okay. Just cut this out, the middle. Hmm. This one is weird. Oh no, I guess we just... I was thinking, like, keep this one with... No, yeah? We have to keep it with only one, right? Yeah. Okay. But then somehow cut these off as well. So we kind of have to end with, like, that kind of thing, I guess?
Oh man, might need to take this one to paint, even though it's seemingly pretty simple. Like, that's the most obvious thing you would think, but then the whites don't work. I feel like I'm just missing something simple, because it's there's not really much room to play around here. Okay, I'm actually... I'm gonna take this to paint. I feel like it would be easier to visualize there. Just because, like, let's make this uh, black instead. Like, let's say we cut this off here and we cut this off here. Is it possible to do that? Yes, it is, technically, because we can go this way and then down. All right, there we go. Yep. Exactly. That just oh, helps when the visualizing. Did I just fuck up? Wait, what happens when I do that? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it just looks a bit weird. Going into like window mode. Yeah, don't think I needed paint for that, but it helps. Oops, forgot OBS on. Well, on, but like the, the preview. Same deal there, kind of, yeah, just a repeat puzzle. That's the same solution you saw, yeah. You just need paint into your melting brain, probably. Again, let's let's use that excuse, always. Oh, wait, al almost. Just do this. There we go. Yeah, that one isn't too bad. And here we could do something like that. If we can cut off this green, or just add it in here. Yeah, there we go. That's the, the trick again. I'm not falling for that a second time, or like an eighth time or whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this one might be nice in paint as well. I'm gonna go for it. Because, like, the obvious one would be to think of these two together. And then you could have, like, this shape, but then we have to separate them. And is that possible? While still going to the end... I think this might be wrong. Let's just assume we cut that off there. What does that do? At that point, since we have to go here, that means we would have to end the puzzle like that. There's no other way. So we have to come from here or something. And what could we do with that? Just, just start that, but that doesn't work. Yeah, maybe it's not that. It could be something where we cut off this. And then cut off this here. No, but then we also have to cut this off, and I don't think we can do that, right? No, 
Oh, man. Yeah, this one feels like it kind of stepped up a little bit. I guess you don't need to, like, specifically cut this off here. If we just go over here and, like, cut these off. No, that doesn't work. Sorry, hiccup. Because then these are included, even if I do, like, this kind of thing. Yeah, that doesn't work. And if we do this kind of shape, then... Wait, yeah! There we go, right? There we go, I think. Yeah, that's it. How do I do that? This way? There we go. Yeah, that was a hard one. At least to me. This one also looks almost designed, in a way. So there has to be a line here at some point, obviously. But it could be like this kind of thing. Yeah, but then we can't cut this out. Whatever. Paint that is. Okay. You can just assume there will be a line here, right? I think that's safe to assume. Because we have to disconnect these in some way, and that means we have to have a line here. So yeah, like the the obvious first thing to think is to box these in. But if you do that, and I don't think the rest really works, so I, I kinda don't think that's what you do. But we could also do a, a thing where we do like this kind of thing. Oh no. No, that, that also wouldn't work. Because then we have to add in another one. But I mean, we could do... Hmm. Like adding this one in here, but then we still have to cut this off here. By like using this kind of area. Oh man. Yeah, we need to cut this off as well, but like having this one on on its own might be what you do. If we do this kind of thing. No, then I can't, like, keep this one also on its own. Yeah, maybe that's wrong. And if we just, like, block these two off and these two off, is there any way we can, like, have this happen and still not have these conflict? I don't think so. I don't think it's this simple. And if we instead do a thing where we like pair up this and this one, like that, and then, yeah, then we can't really give this its own area.
Oh, man. Yeah, like I said, it's going smoothly, and then you just run into a wall head first. And then, who knows, maybe the next one is going to be, like, super simple. Anyone got it in chat? Or are we all stumped together? Brain melting together? Into one joint goop? You do have it, all right? Here, go confirmed, not brain melting. Yeah, everywhere I try and go in my head, I just run into a corner that I've already been at. Like, trying to isolate this on its own, then means that you have to pass this corner again, which is not po possible. If I try and isolate this on its own, I do the same. Your brain was melting like two hours ago? What were you doing two hours ago? It's had time to, like, reform again. You're waking up, I see. Yeah, man, I, I don't see this one at all. What if we, like, cut this one off on its own, and then cut this one off on its own? No. It's, like, almost there, but not quite. Wait, what about that instead? Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, that really wasn't that bad. Sometimes you just, like, get in the wrong mode of thinking, I guess. There we go. Yeah, that, that does feel like one, a puzzle that would be designed. Oh boy. How do we keep this one only in group with one pink? Maybe by just having it with all of the green. Oh yeah, yeah, you just do that. There we go, and we'll just go forward. Okay, that one looked more intimidating than it was. And I don't know, I guess, should we even go this way? Isn't there a, is there a triangle puzzle? Yeah, like right over here, I think. So let's go forward for now. I think it's the same thing again. Yeah, they're just trying to like bait you with the colors. Yep. There, yeah. Suddenly we're monochrome again. That's not bad. I told you, all of them are like super easy past that one. Which, 
really wasn't that hard overall. There we go. Almost had it there. Yep. It's like, it feels like I'm doing the same puzzle, like they're all using the same sort of method or whatever. Maybe not anymore, though. No, no, yeah, just there. There we go. There was just like one, one puzzle on that line. Nice voice crack. That was a bit of a tricky one. All right, here we go. Triangles. So here we have to do like an S shape, like this kind of thing. And maybe this is fine. I want to say we maybe start by doing this kind of thing. A feeling when the zigzag works, yeah. That's okay. That start is just not possible at all. It would have to be this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just that, but we just do a dip up at the start. Yeah, that's not bad. There we go. All right, cool. Now I guess we reroute it. Where is it again? Uh. Can't see the, uh. Like endpoints. Is it this one? No? Oh, there. Yeah. So now we just do this instead. I'll probably call it quits for witness pretty soon, especially like while I'm ahead, <laughs> while I'm doing well. We can uh, leave it off. Maybe do a one or two more puzzles. And then complete Treehouse next time. But yeah, I'm, I'm really liking Treehouse. My brain has been slowly unmelting a little bit. Reminds of one of the puzzles you did in the challenge area. You mean the, the triangle puzzle? Yeah, that was pretty similar. I guess let's go back here. Why not try one of these? I mean, that's fine together. Don't even attempt the green one today. Really? This one? This one's bad? Is it bad? It doesn't look that bad to me. Isn't it just this? That's, that's one. Are you just saying that like these green ones are generally very hard in the randomizer or something? Or just because it's Tetris and that was what was melt melting my brain? Ah, melting my brain, yeah. Can't even speak anymore. Too much brain meltage. Yeah, and this one is... This one feels like very similar to uh, how it was in the actual game. Wait, not, not quite like that. Hold on, it's it's something, something like that. We have this one, generally quite Tetris. Yeah, you got a different solution for that one. Yeah, it's nice when there's like multiple solutions. I think we put this one here and this one there, so we just do. Oh God, I have to like think about the path for that. How would that be? Oh man, I I, I actually feel like I need Tetris. I should probably just end it here. Let's just solve this one panel. I think I see what the solution is. It's just like mentally drawing the uh, the path. So like we have this one here and this one here. So I have to end it this way. And I start like that. Yeah, there we go. Yep, just just had to draw it and then it all just makes sense. 
Wait. No, no, no. Hold on. One more. There we go. I almost messed up there. There we go. All right. That's a good point to end it, I think, for the Witness Randomizer. But yeah, liking these ones a lot more. We'll uh, maybe try continuing here. At least in this area, it's not like I don't have to leave the entire area if I can't solve these re remaining uh, Tetris... Ah, Jesus. Remaining Tetris puzzles. So I can just like try this again, but then if not, we just go over here instead. So that should be fine. But yeah, that was fun, especially the latter half. Next up, I'll do some Risk of Rain 2, because I, I think it should work better today, but I don't know, I feel a bit bit bad that the uh, Risk of Rain 2 yesterday was so, like, scuffed and performance annoying, so I'll do a bit more of that, I think. But yeah, if you were here for Witness and want to come back next time, we'll see you next week, and I'll take a bit of a break.